guys, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a very quick, short uh, Teen Wolf Season 4 Part A finale thing because I have been up to my brains, whatever that means, filled with schoolwork and recently I got a cold, that's why there was no video last week and stuff and literally I am so overflowed with deadlines. Why am I telling you guys this? Let's just get on to the review. Alright, so basically season 4 of Teen Wolf is about the characters in season 4 find out that there is a Deadpool with their names on it, or at least the supernatural people, and Peter lost his money, people are paying assassins to kill these supernatural creature or beings, and now it's up to the gang to find out who's behind the Deadpool list, how to stop it, and to save themselves because literally every corner that they go there's someone that wants to kill them. The thing that I absolutely loved about this season is the character development. You could totally, it is completely between black and white that the characters have totally developed. I mean, Lydia, you could tell in this whole entire season that she is not the same girl whatsoever of how she was in season one. Same for Scott, Styles, Derek, Peter's questionable. Of course, we are introduced to new characters, such as Liam, who's the baby of the pack, and I love him, and I'm pretty sure everyone else does too, because he's kind of like the newbie. I also like Malia's storyline. I enjoyed watching her kind of develop into a more human-ish character, I guess, and how Styles helps her, and how you could totally tell that Styles really cares for her, and she cares for Styles, and I like that whole little thing that's going on there. I have to say, they are my new OTP, guys. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the number one thing that everyone's been questioning, and we were hoping to at least understand a bit of this by the end of the last episode, but we were all disappointed. What the heck is Officer Parrish? Nobody knows what kind of supernatural being he is. We just know that he's some supernatural human. I have to say, my favorite part of the last episode is definitely the whole situation with Derek. I was very surprised. I'm like, please let this not happen to him. Something happens to him. But then, plot twist. He's actually this, and I really enjoyed that that uh, little plot twist right there. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. Actually, I really enjoyed Derek throughout this whole season, and seeing him finally become what he's been becoming, it's great. For those of you that have not even seen the season, or let alone the last episode, you are probably completely lost, and it is A-OK, -okay because you haven't seen it. But if, when you see it, you'll understand it. Alright guys, so that is my review for Teen Wolf Season 4, Part A. I think Part B premieres in January, I'm not really sure. And by the looks of this video, I am pretty sure you probably think, Wow, this girl watches way too many movies and way too many TV shows. But I'm telling you the truth, I do have a life and it's... And if it wasn't for recorded episodes, I would literally be lost. Honestly, I had no idea that it was the Teen Wolf season finale until a few days ago that I realized it was this Monday that was going to be the season finale and thank God for the marathon because if not, I would completely not even have seen a single episode. Alright guys, well that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, comment, let me know if you watch Teen Wolf, if you don't even know what the heck Teen Wolf is, if you've seen it, if you've seen the last episode, let me know what you think so we can talk about it and your expectations and predictions for the next season. So I'll see you next time. Bye! If you're a fan of Teen Wolf and if you are especially a fan of Dylan O'Brien, make sure to check out my movie review for The Maze Runner, which comes out September 19th, and you cannot miss it. I went to an early screening, I saw the film, and I did a review about it, and you could click it right here. So, yeah.